Hello everyone, in this video we will see how to revert to an older version of a flow in a flow designer. So you might be getting requirements to upgrade your flows with the new requirements every day or maybe every week or every sprint. But there might be a situation where you are asked revert all the changes which you had in the previous sprint. Now instead of making those changes again on that flow for reverting it back to your previous version, you can actually use a functionality of service now with just a click of button and move back to that previous version. I will just quickly show you what I mean by this. So for example, if you have version one of your flow and you made some changes and activated it again and made it to version two, which is the current version now. But now you get a requirement to move back from version two to version one. So version two will become the older version and the version one will become the current version after reverting. So you are not making any changes manually. Let's see that in a demo in service. Now I'm in my service now instance and I will go to maybe one of the older flows which I had created for example, do while demo. So this is a flow which I had created in past and it has few steps that when the incident has been created, it will trigger then it will run a do while loop and send an email and wait for 10 seconds and so on. I will go ahead and make a change in here and in action. I will say log and an information level log. This is a new addition. And I was asked by my business analyst or stakeholders to add this log and I would activate that. Now this particular change has been made to the flow and it will be applicable to the new records which will be created after this. I will close this and now suppose after few weeks or few months, I get a requirement to remove that log again. So for that, instead of making changes into the flow and removing that log, what I will do is I will go into my service now instance. I will search for a table called sys update version dot list. I will open this list. So this table stores all the versions of your flow. So for example, if your flow has 10 versions, it will store all the 10 versions of your flow and you can revert to any one of them at any point of time. So that's the beauty of the flow designer. After opening this table, I will go back to my flow designer and I will copy the sys ID of that particular flow. I will come back here on this table. I will search for the sys ID and I will see multiple versions of this. And now, for example, if I want to revert to the version which was on 9th of May, I will open that version and once the record loads, I will scroll down a bit and under related links, I would see these three buttons. The first button is compared to current. So that means if you want to compare the current version of the flow with the version which you just have opened, it will show all the changes in there and you can make a call whether to activate this one or not. The second is revert to this version. So that means the current version, which is the latest version, which will be reverted back to this version. So like I explained to you on the PPT slide. So I will go ahead and click this button and it will ask me, are you sure you want to revert to this version and you click OK and it will revert back to that version and it will give a confirmation message that your update version entry has been successfully reverted to the selected version. Now to test this, I'll go back to my flow. I'll go to do while demo. I will open this flow and you would see that log entry has gone. So I would recommend using this technique instead of going ahead and making changes to the flow again and again, if you are reverting to a previous version. I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know in comments. If you have any questions, please do hit the like button if you learned something new. And finally, thanks for watching the video.